Hey guys, Coach Nate here. We're going to talk about the handstand push-up today, but more specifically the handstand push-up when it's paired with a weightlifting movement like a deadlift or maybe even a squat. Um, you may have done the workout Diane, that type of feeling. Very, very common for athletes' lower backs to get very tight during this because we've got a core bracing going on on the barbell or the weightlifting movement, and then we're on the handstand push-up, we're kipping, and we've got some trunk flexion happening and those erectors just get really, really tired. It gets very uncomfortable. So we're gonna talk about how to help avoid that a little and still be as efficient as possible on the handstand push-ups. First things first, kicking up and doing a strict handstand push-up can definitely help preserve the lower back unless you got extremely strong and, and good stamina in the shoulders. That not, may not be a good option for you. Um, so I'm gonna talk about two different kips that you can utilize today. The first one's gonna be the frog kip. That's gonna be the one that's gonna help save your lower back the most. The second one's going to be more the traditional kip where you get some trunk flexion. You get a little bit more power from it, so it does help the actual handstand push-up, but also can make that lower back lock up like I was talking about a little earlier. So I'm going to show you the difference of the three. First two reps, I'm going to go strict. Second two reps, I'm going to do the frog kip. Only my legs are going to lower. I'm going to have no flexion of the torso, of the core at all. And then the last two reps, I'm going to go ahead and do my full kit where I'm going to get the most power from. So you can see a visual on all these and then practice a little later. So hopefully you see the difference from the frog going from only the hip is flexing and then the full kip where we have the hip and the curling of the torso. That frog kip is going to be what's going to help you preserve your lower back the most. Give it a try. It may take a little practice if you're not used to doing it. Let me know how the workouts go putting it into implementation.